It is summertime, which means it's family travel season, but some of that travel is a little harder right now. So we're continuing our special series committed to your family with a focus on family time. We are taking virtual trips around the country, all around the world, and today we are headed to Baltimore. Our first stop is really neat. We are going to the National Aquarium. The National Aquarium has lots of different things that you can check out and you can do it all virtually. When we scroll down the page, you can see they're set up for us to visit virtually. Uh, they have some at home activities planned out for people to do, but we're going to check out the live exhibit cams. If you virtually tour the aquarium, you get to see all of the cool exhibit cams that have all of the neat animals in them. Black tip reef. There are a couple different cameras that they have set up, but what's really neat about this is when you scroll down, look, you can look for the different things. So if you were to be there and walk through the same thing you would be doing is what we're going to be doing here virtually. So several different cameras you can check out and several different animals and things that you can be looking for. Our next stop in Baltimore takes us to the Baltimore Museum of Art, which is also set up for us to visit. This is a really cool place. And when you scroll down the page a little bit here, you can see how they have things set up on their websites, at home art activities. They also have some family activities you can do. And then this is the place here that is set up for virtual interactive activities. You can tour, you can talk to artists and curators and see all the different exhibits that the museum is doing. And they have a lot of featured artwork here as well. Now, Next, we're headed to the Children's Museum. This is the Port Discovery Children's Museum in Baltimore. It is closed at the moment. Uh, you can see that with today's hours. So it's set up for us to visit online. We're going to go to the play at home section. And when we do that, we can see how they have designed this for us. You can see what the museum has to offer, but you can do it all from home. They have creative art activities, music and movement, theater, uh, early literacy, STEM programs, all kinds of fun things that you would get to see if you were there and you can do it without even leaving your couch. Obviously, just a couple of different places that you can go to in Baltimore. There are lots of others to check out. We're going to continue to look for fun places to go. And if there's some place you want to go, be sure to let me know.